Hey girlfriend, it's been so long since I vlogged. Um, I took literally an intentional two week break after um, New Year's to get myself together, like get my life together, get my house together, figure things out. And we're still not all the way figured out, but we're close. So. <laughs> Today is Saturday, January 15th. I actually need to text my cousins. Another one of my cousins is moving here today, but um, I need to text her. But oh, yeah, today is Saturday, January 15th, and I have been in the bed all morning, but I woke up, I wanted to sleep. So I'll just give you guys the rundown. Okay, so as you guys have seen, we did New Year's, my cousin was here, right? Well, um, and I didn't go on my work trip. I did tell you guys about that. Um, so I woke up this morning at like 1030. I like to sleep in on Saturdays and work on Sundays. I try like in my brain, I like for my work week to start on Sunday if I can. So that Mondays don't feel shitty to me because I'm the typical like can't do Mondays type of person. So I like for my work days to try to start on Sunday. So I, I do a little bit of work on Sundays. It just kind of depends. I'm drinking a Alani New Energy drink. This is the cherry slush flavor. It's my favorite flavor. But so I woke up at about 1030. My best friend that's getting married in October went wedding dress shopping today. And they called me at 930 so that I could see her try on her dresses. But I was asleep. So they called me back at 1030. I called them back at 1030. Um, and I watched her try on some dresses. She picked the dress while I was on the phone and I was, I cried like four times. Um, but I was so happy because I wasn't there that I at least got to be a part of that. And so our best friend, Kristen, who's her maid of honor was, had me on FaceTime and I was like talking to her, talking to my best friend's mom, talking to my best friend that was trying on the dresses. So, um, yeah and she the my best friend that i'm talking about is the girl that asked me to be her bridesmaid in my last vlog that's her so i ended up laying in the bed that lasted until like 12 30 like i was on the phone with them until like 12 30 and then i kind of got a little frazzled at looking at the upcoming months and so i had to call my mom to help me like figure it out and i've decided that i need to make an excel spreadsheet to get me through the rest of this year which may not be a bad thing. And so that's what I'm gonna do either tonight or tomorrow. But I need to clean up. My house is a, it's not a wreck. It could be worse, it's not a wreck, it could, it could be worse. Um, excuse me, I went grocery shopping last night. I had to do like the big grocery shop. So I had to go to Kroger, Tom Thumb, Whole Foods, and Sam's. And I went to the Sam's, we have like this like innovative Sam's, it's called Sam's Go. Um, here in Dallas and that's the one I like to go to and you scan and check out yourself and so I went and me and my parents are on the Sam's app and so like I was making sure that it was my card attached and not my parents um, like that was selected and then like I only went to get toilet paper paper towels and water well I got the toilet paper I mean I got the paper towels and I got the water but then I ended up getting another thing of paper towels so I have to go back out there today and get some more toilet paper because I think I only have like one more roll left so I need to go do that today. But then it started snowing. It was like flurrying because there's a big snowstorm about to happen. So it started flurrying while I was about to get up. So I was like, let me lay here a little bit longer. So I laid in the bed for like another 45 minutes. And so now I'm up. So I need to clean my kitchen. Who's calling me? Sorry about that. My best friend actually just called me to ask me. She was like, I wanted to debrief about the dresses. <laughs> But um, I forgot what I was talking about. But I just hit 500 followers on TikTok. I really love TikTok. I really enjoy making TikToks. Um, I think I make like five a week. I'm pretty active on TikTok actually. So I'll let you follow, follow your girl. Put it on the screen. So I need to clean. I need to clean. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to show you guys some of the new additions to my place that you haven't seen since I got them. Yeah, so I'm gonna do like a speed clean. With every passing moment, 
thoughts of you run through my head Every time that I'm near you I realize that you're heaven sent, baby I think your truth is something special Just what my dreams are really made of too okay so kitchen's clean like i said this is my new workspace i still have to get like a little mat thing to go right here i bought one but it's too small so i just need to get another one um this is the chair i got i will have it linked in the description it's from overstock it was a little pricey but i went from a bar stool to this like this had to upgrade clearly i love the terracotta brown but like i needed something better for this but okay and then this is my desk this is the stand-up desk it's from walmart let me tell you something i'm not a fan of going inside of walmart but walmart online they got the pieces okay so it is a stand-up desk i can um program it i was supposed to say schedule program it to the way i want it to be but it does move up and down and as i um get more stuff to go in this space i will do like a little desk tour and show you guys where everything's from but there is a few more things that i want to get to go on the desk um but you know my laptop my monitor nowadays my other laptop sits right here so i can watch tv my phone stand my um external hard drive and then this has drawers with some more stuff in it and then these are my affirmations that i say to myself every day that you guys also know are in my bathroom too so yeah and so then i redid my couch i don't know if i talked about this when i first bought this couch but it is um rearrangeable i don't know if that's the right word but you can rearrange it take it apart and so i just took the um love seat part and made it in um switched it around so that i had an ottoman so that's what i have right here it's a little off its rocker because it's been moved but um yeah that's what i have right here and then you know the regular shablam all of this stuff is the same i just took down the christmas stuff that is my christmas gift whoa whoa that is one of my christmas gifts from my mother when me and my sisters were small like when we were first born and stuff um my mom wrote poems for us that's like her thing um i have a poem that i'm actually gonna that she wrote that i'm actually gonna get tattooed on me but this is one of them and she got us each one you know, I have two other sisters and it's so funny because right here it says Fridolina my mom's name is Lafrida and it says Fridolina and that's what everyone called her when she was a kid and I call my mom Fridoline and I never even knew that that was like her nickname I just started calling her that so that's like my little my little thing and then my really close friend Lauren that's her wedding save the date there um, everything is the same here just continuously adding more blankets and then my patio stuff is inside because the wind's blowing like psychotically and um because it's windstorm or whatever but when this is out there and the wind's blowing really bad it moves and bangs up against the railing and it's very annoying and it's very loud so i just bring it in here when the wind's blowing really hard crossing our fingers that before my birthday gets here i have them damn chairs to go out there um, they're just super expensive they're like eight hundred dollars but i really want them and they'll stay with me for a really long time but yeah this little thing table thing i'm gonna do away with it but i needed to get this lamp first which is new um i just got it this week i needed to get this first to figure out what type of side table i wanted to match it so long story short i'm getting rid of this couch 
and I'm getting a new one and it's a bigger like more luxe couch um, and it's gonna be white and so I have to kind of curate the items that I buy to put in my um, let me just turn you guys around so basically any of the things that I buy to go in my living room I have to buy to match the furniture that I have now but to more so match the furniture that I'm going to get and so that's why I'm being very picky with it all um, but so yeah that's the new addition in there I am about to go to the, well I need to eat again and then I'm gonna go to the gym I'm looking at my room and it looks a hot diggity damn mess but I also got a I'm gonna just show you oh my god I'm so embarrassed but I'm gonna show you I got a new lamp for my side table and it makes this it illuminates this room and like I am a, a lamp connoisseur I have lamps all the time like I, I love a good lamp and lamps just make the room that much better um and my bedroom's a hot fire mess I mean my closet is a hot fire mess too I'm a little overwhelmed I'm a little overwhelmed and when I get overwhelmed I get frazzled and there are two things that I am I'm an emotional eater and I'm an emotional spender so and I'm not like it's not like I'm an emotional spender to the point where I'll go buy like bags shoot no I'll go buy miscellaneous shit like things that I don't really need or things that like I don't have to have at the moment every one of my purchases I try to make sure that I can justify them as to why I would need them as to why I buy them but yeah there's some things that I just buy just because I can and I don't need to so um I really have to be on it with my money and my finances and all of the things and when I kind of figure out how to do it what I'm gonna do I'll show you guys I'll like block out like actually my like the numbers and stuff but like I'll show you like the categories and things like that because I be on Google Sheets all day long for work so I feel like I've got a, a good sense of the way that I want it to be so I'll show you guys um, like an, I'll do it like an expense tracker, something like that. Okay, so finally got up and changed out of my pajamas that I've been in all day. I'm about to go to the gym, and so I'm gonna show you what I take with me. I take a rescue retreat and a Nutrigrain bar because I get a little shaky at the end of my workouts because you know, I go hard in the gym. <laughs> so I take, um, I take those two things with me or sometimes just a Nutri-Green bar to make sure that I stay good and hydrated or I don't pass out is what I'm trying to say. So I have, I finally found the Alani New Waters. So I'm taking one of those with me. I had some water left over from yesterday in my little water bottle. So I'm just gonna put my pre-workout in here instead of dirtying up another water. I use the Prolific Pea Science in Raspberry Lemonade. I don't feel jittery with this, and you do feel jittery with the Alani New pre-workout, not the pump, the actual workout. And so I stopped taking it. Well, I didn't stop taking it. I wanted to try something different. So I went with this one, and I actually need to go get another one. But I went with this one, and I didn't feel jittery at all. And I like missed that feeling so much that I like didn't like this for a good month that I was using it. And then when I just, when I embraced it, I'm like, oh, I like this. So. This is what we're using. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a straw. This isn't the straw that goes with this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this isn't the straw that goes with this one. This straw goes with the green one. That's my mom's that I have. But the one that goes with mine is dirty. So. Make sure it's all shaken up. And then I have an extra water in there. Put. I do wear a mask when I work out downstairs when there's people, in the, other people in the gym. So I just have this one from Adidas that my mom got me for Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, surprisingly, I'm kind of... I would say I'm hard to I'm hard to get and easy to please, which is very weird. Like once you do get me, I'm the smallest things make me happy. Like take me to McDonald's, get me masks for Christmas. One time I asked for socks 
for Christmas. Like, you just gotta be into you, I guess. Okay, let's go. Today is Monday, January 17th, and I just have to say that yesterday really showed me that I am not that girl because <laughs> so I had every intention. Me and my best friend went to lunch with her old neighbors and or like breakfast, and I had every intention on filming a tiktok vlogging all of that stuff literally just thought we were going to get breakfast maybe get a drink or two afterward like get a drink at breakfast and then a drink or two afterward and then come home baby girl we did so much more than that note to self no matter how old or young you are you have to eat more than once when you drink you have to I ate half of a waffle at 11 o'clock and I didn't eat again until 11 o'clock today so not only have I been starving I've been drinking or I was drinking and hadn't eaten so we went to happiest hour and had a good time we were just we drank a lot very quickly with no food on our stomach so we were just we were just down so today, I'm not hung over anything, but I'm just chilling in the bed because it seemed like yesterday was a, it was much more than it actually was. So just hanging out in the bed, catching up on everything that I missed yesterday um, and watching a vlog. And I, like I said, I ate when I got Qdoba um, right when I opened. And so I'm going to finish watching this vlog and then I'm going to get up. Make me some coffee because I need it. <laughs> okay, so I'm up. I have clothes in the wash. I'm about to start editing a video, y'all. Oh, I'm in my coffee. I also have my water. I don't know if I told you guys I was off today. It's pretty much okay day, but yeah. So, I need to cook later. I need to film a TikTok, but I also need to like clean. So that's why I'm filming the TikTok. It's not because like I need to do it. It's I have to do it anyways. And so I'm just gonna film it while I'm doing it. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys when out. Oh, when either I cook or start cleaning, whatever happens first. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I'm just making some salmon and I also, my head is still kind of hurting from all that alcohol. So I'm gonna make me some tea. And for the salmon, I'm just going to spray the aluminum foil. This is just canola cooking oil spray. Okay, I'm gonna use garlic powder. I'm gonna use tiger seasoning. I'm gonna use flowers. I'm gonna use some pepper, salt. This is just pink Himalayan salt. And then that's all I'm gonna, that's all the seasonings I'm gonna put on it. And then I'm just gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and sprinkle it on there so it doesn't dry out. Then I have my oven set on 425 and I leave it in here for like 17-ish minutes. Very random, I know. My tea is ready. This is the one I have. It's from Beautiful by Drew Barrymore at Walmart. I'll have it linked down below. Okay, so I just switched out my laundry um, and salmon's in the oven. I'm about to go back 
to editing. I am starting to get a little tired again, so I'm trying to get as much done as possible. I don't think I'm going to get to cleaning my um, bathroom today, which is annoying because I really wanted to get that TikTok done, but I can do it tomorrow. I haven't had one of these in so long, but I'm about to drink a liquid IV hydration multiplier because I just feel so dehydrated and just like malnourished because obviously I didn't really eat yesterday so I feel like everything I'm eating today is making up for yesterday and I'm still not like all the way um I'm still not all the way up on the food and so I'm gonna drink a lemon lime when I don't this isn't my favorite flavor but um passion fruit and strawberry are my two faves and I don't have any more of those but I do have a code with them and I'll leave it in the description but I think it's like 25% off something like that but I swear by these things especially in the summer and especially when you're hungover these are like the best things to drink when you're hungover like if you don't have Pedialyte I'm not a Pedialyte person so if you don't have Pedialyte but you can get your hands on some of these they literally sell them everywhere they're in Target GNC Costco Sam's CVS, Walgreens, and one of these is the equivalent to three water bottles. So. Good morning. Today is January 18th. It's Tuesday. It's about 8.15ish. Just sat down to start working. Um, literally yesterday, when I tell you I knocked out at seven o'clock i was asleep i gotta go i gotta run some errands this afternoon and i want to work out so i need to go to sam's to get the toilet paper because i only have one roll now so like i really need some um i gotta pick up a prescription and i need some more ponytail orders so i will take you guys with me to do that and then i have to go to the gym yes i have to go yes I have to go so i'll talk to you guys later good morning um it is about 6 30 in the morning it's wednesday i've been up since 3 30 this morning um excuse the dirty mirror i'm filming a cleaning tiktok for my bathroom later but i've been up since 3 30 this morning working um i got up so early because i didn't feel good at all yesterday and i went to bed at like 6 and so i was like okay i'll get up at 3 30 start working and it just worked that way I've been scheduling everything that I needed to get done yesterday, today, um, so that I don't have to worry about um, scheduling the things I can just do them. Um, they start construction on my apartment today, Shiki, um, at about 8.30, which is another reason why I got up so early. Um, it's going to be the last bit of time I get today for quiet, so um, I'm trying to work as hard as I can. I washed my hair last night, that's why the blonde really looks pretty vibrant, but yeah, I washed my hair last night and went to sleep, so yeah, I've just been working. I'm about to go sit back down, but I just wanted to say good morning. I will catch up with you guys either when I go to the gym or when I start cleaning. So today has been a whole day. Um, I've been busy as hell with work. I literally got done at 4.30 and had to go lay on my floor in my closet and hide from the construction workers because the noise was just so astronomical. I couldn't focus anymore. I did get a lot done for working for 12 hours. Um, I'm glad I did that. I try to do it once a quarter um, so that I feel, it's really for me so that I feel more on top of the things that I need to get done because I do handle so much with my job. Um, and I do have a lot of responsibility. So got that done. And I'm now at Ellen's downtown. I'm meeting my cousins. Um, well, really it's one of my cousins and then his girlfriend. <clears throat> and then my other cousin's girlfriend is here. They all live here now. And so we're all going to happy hour and just gonna hang out. My actual cousin picked the place. And of course there's a Mavericks game tonight. So he's gonna get some shit from me because I have to drive back through where the stadium is to get back to my place. Well, technically we all do, but they like to drive on the interstate, but so they'll drive on the interstate home and I won't. So, um, but yeah, as soon as I get home, I'm going to bed. I'm, I'm dead to the world, like dead tired. I had a co one coffee 
heated that coffee up, then had the rest of an Alani new energy drink, and then a shaken espresso from Starbucks just to keep me afloat today. So it's time for me to lay it down. Good morning, Alexa, pause. Good morning. It is about 10.30, it is Saturday morning. Um, I have been up since about 7.45 and I've just been laying in the bed. And the only reason that I'm up right now is because I'm hungry. So I'm about to, I made dinner last night, just my regular taco stuff. And so um, I'm going to heat that up and then get right back in the bed um, and watch Oxygen for a little bit. I have like six episodes of this show that I watch to, um, to watch. And then I think I'm going to start Blue Bloods tonight, I think. Um, the 355, that movie, the action movie, just came out this week. And so I kind of want to see that tonight. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the movies by myself. Yesterday, I just had to work all day. I got some TikToks edited and up. Um, I have like four videos I need to edit for YouTube. I'm so behind. Um, yeah. That's all I've got. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys that I was leaving the house. I just got dressed really quick and um, came over to Whole Foods to get a um, snack and made myself some coffee because I was getting sleepy again and I needed to get up to start editing and so I also needed to run by CVS and get my medicine and so that's where I'm on my way to right now. The Titans game comes on at 4.30 I think. So I have on a Titans t-shirt under this and then um, Louisville plays Notre Dame today and so that's why I have on my Louisville sweatshirt. I need to get a new tripod for in here or like a new stand because the one that sits on my window makes me look like an Uber driver. So I will see you guys when um, I get back to the house. Okay, so I hope you can see me. I completely forgot to vlog. So I went out with my best friend tonight. I went to the club, random, but yeah, we went out. I was laying in the bed and she texted me, can you go out? And I did, so here I am. And I, now I'm standing in the Taco Bell standing. I'm waiting in the Taco Bell line to get a quesadilla because I ate all my food that was like microwavable, like quickly, like quick food. I ate that today while I've just been laying in the house. So I'm getting Taco Bell and then I'm going home and I'm taking all this makeup off and I'm getting in the bed. Ladies, I don't care. I'm not drunk or anything of the sorts, but I'm just saying, ladies, it doesn't matter how drunk you are, how intoxicated you are, take that makeup off. Take it off. Okay. And I am totally fine so there's no excuse for me to not take my makeup off and that's what I'm why you play it all about games what's this why you play it games what's this why you play it all about games what's this why you play it games what's this why you play it
guys it is Tuesday yeah Tuesday since you saw me last I made the chicken that I was prepping in my video I made it last night and it was so good I did almost burn the house down first but we recovered and the chicken was really really good I didn't sleep at all last night my insomnia got the best of me so like I literally didn't sleep a wink and for whatever reason, yesterday during the day, I was just super sad. I don't know why. It's just super duper sad. So I didn't pick up the camera at all. But today's a new day, like Kurt Franklin said. And I have a lot of energy today, surprisingly, to not have slept um, very well. Vlog, I just realized that we haven't talked all day. So, got up kind of early this morning, went and walked on the treadmill um, at like 7.30, then went to Smoothie King and Starbucks and got breakfast and I've just been working ever since. I have to go get a salad because I'm super duper hungry and I've been craving a salad for like three weeks, but I mean like a good, good, good salad. So, I just built a salad at this place called Salata in Preston Center and I'm gonna go pick it up. Yes, looking just like this. Bye, your mom. So I ate my salad. I forgot to check back in, but I ate my salad. It was really good. Um, it wasn't a chopped salad like I thought it was gonna be. Um, it's just like all the ingredients together, but it was still really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog out here. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, January 26th, I think, 26th, 27th. Um, and I've just got some crazy work things to get done. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend, tell your friend, tell your neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends. As always, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I have it somewhere on the screen and always in the description box below. And I'll catch you on my next one. Peace.